Welcome back everyone, hope you all are fine. So today in this video, we are going to make Iron Man Mark 85 helmet. And I would like to thank Vidlux for sponsoring this video, because it wouldn't have been possible without them. If we had used Arduino into it, then it would have been a nightmare for us. But with the help of Vidlux, you just need to connect two blocks to each other. And that's it, your job is done. Link for their website is in the description box. Let's start the video. So you cannot print the whole helmet on small printer. So for that, we are going to use a mesh mixer. We are going to split it into different parts, so you can print it easily. Also, don't worry, I will provide you with the separated parts too in the description box. Okay, now let's split it. So this is what I was talking about. So now you can print them easily on small printers too. Okay now as we are done with 3D printing we need to attach all the parts together. So for that we are going to use Fabric and Fabricil. Also make sure you stick them well and give it enough time to dry. Also the other reason of using Fabricil is filling gaps inside the helmet. So make sure you apply it well. Now to fill the outer gaps of the helmet we are going to use MC and make sure you use water with it so you can apply it faster and smoother. Okay now it's time to wet sand all the parts. Make sure you sand them very well. Okay, now it's time to prime the parts and this is the most important part of the project, so don't rush, take your time. Okay, now it's time to color all the parts, so I will provide you with the links for the spray paints I used in the description box. Okay, now it's time to cover all the parts where we don't want a specific color. So for that we are going to use a masking tape. And make sure you do it very well and it's going to take a lot of time. Now we need to peel off the masking tape. 
After peeling off a mask tape, we are going to make a mechanism which will move the face plate up and down. So for that we are going to use two micro servos and 3D printed parts. Now this is very important. One servo is going to work perfectly but the other one is going to move in opposite direction which we don't want. So for that we are going to interchange the two wires that are attached to motor and the ones that are attached to circuit. Now let's assemble the whole mechanism. We need to put this 3D printed part into the helmet, so for that we are going to use a simple 3D printed helper tool which will help us locate the position. Now we are going to attach a face plate to the bracket inside with the hot glue. Make sure you attach the helper arms properly otherwise your face plate may not work properly. Now we are going to make LED glowing eyes, so for that we are going to use transparent acrylic sheet. So you can even see through when the lights are glowing. We need to bend it so we can fit it properly in the first plate. For this you can use heat gun or hair dryer. Next, we are going to use a white LED and we are going to dip it into blue glass color.
now it's time to attach LED eyes to face plate with the hot glue and make sure you attach it well. If you guys like the video then don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in the next video bye